It was actually less people here than I thought, so I'm early, a lot earlier than I would normally be. So is that the key, arriving early for you? Yeah, definitely, so you're not stressed. Patience makes perfect at BWI Marshall Tuesday as travelers allow themselves extra time for the holiday travel rush. Well, I feel pretty safe, have my shots, have my booster, so. so no, no, and no issues here at the airport, right? Not yet, maybe later. But I came really early. Do you have anything in your pockets? According to the TSA, the busiest day at BWI Marshall since the pandemic started was July 16th of this year, where close to 29,000 people passed through. In the coming days, they expect to beat that number. Historically, Thanksgiving is the busiest travel period of the year. And I think there's a pent up demand for travel. More people are vaccinated. A lot of people already have boosters. They're starting to get their children vaccinated. For those traveling and bringing food for their Thanksgiving feast, TSA has the following reminders. If the food item is solid, like cakes and pies and brownies and cookies, uh, then you can definitely bring that through a checkpoint. That includes casseroles. If it's something like a liquid or spreadable, then you should put that in your check bags. Passengers will also be allowed to bring up to 12 ounces of hand sanitizer. As far as getting through security. I think one of the major things to recognize is that we all are wearing our masks and that we're working to reduce the touch points. Passengers can expect new technology for getting ID information, plexiglass protection, and officers will be wearing gloves, which they will change after each passenger. So above all, the message here seems to be expect delays, anywhere from checking in to shuttle service, even getting something to eat, a snack or, or lunch or dinner. Uh, also, with the federal uh, vaccine mandate that is in effect, TSA officials do not expect that to affect service here at the airport or delays associated with that. As they say, 93% of TSA employees have reported their vaccine status. One final note, for more information on what you can and can't bring to grandma house on the plane. There's an extensive list. We have it on our website, WBALTV.com and on our mobile app. We're live at BWI Marshall tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.